Today is the start of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and according to Kern County Public Health officials, one in eight women here locally get diagnosed with that disease. 23 ABC's Scott Sheehan joins us with a look at what Links for Life is doing to help raise awareness about this disease. Scott? All right, so Mike, Alyssa, according to those Department of Health numbers, that's 500 women a year diagnosed with breast cancer here in Kern County, the highest cancer diagnosis in the county. And uh, one of those survivors who was diagnosed 17 years ago is Stephanie Lynch. Yes. Glad you're here. I'm glad to be here. So 17 years ago, let's talk a little bit about how you got diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, I had a lump that I'd been ignoring and uh, my daughter was getting ready to do a breast cancer walk and she was telling me all about the symptoms of breast cancer. So I thought, well, I better get it checked out. Went to the doctor, uh, got sent for a mammogram ultrasound and saw a surgeon within one week of finding the lump and uh, I had a, a mastectomy, I had chemotherapy and of course during chemo you lose your hair and that's how I ended up at Links for Life. What did you get from Links for Life as far as your care went? I got uh, a wig that I chose to have one close to my own hair color and hairstyle and uh, they said you need to come to our support group and so that was 17 years ago and I'm still coming on the first Tuesday of the month. What does that mean as you're a 17 year survivor to yourself to hearing these new women's struggles as well as being that rock for future uh, for that new generation that is being diagnosed? Well I hope I'm a rock because uh, there is hope and uh, it's the group is there to help one another because someone has been in your shoes uh, and can offer support, encouragement, and uh, although breast cancer is a serious uh, illness, uh, we do have fun and uh, we stay uh, strong with all of us together. If you'd like to be a part of some of those events that Links for Life are doing, there's about a dozen of them in and around Bakersfield. You can find that list on our 23ABC Facebook page and turn to 23.com. Over here in Bakersfield, Scott Sheehan, 23ABC, connecting you.